guys, welcome to all the Tronics. Today, a random test here about step recovery diode harmonic generation. Here, we are generating a 1.3 gig signal with a step recovery diode. Actually, it's a pin diode, okay? Used here as a um, step recovery diode. And we are entering this, this circuit with 300 and 24 meg so we are looking here at the harmonic number four of the signal and here the signal in the time domain this sinusoidal here was beautiful but as soon as i started recording the video it actually uh, became worse i think that it's um electromagnetic radiation from my smartphone here very interesting but you can see that you have a sinusoidal signal from of 1.3 gig from a 324 uh, meg signal. And how this works, guys? So the idea behind step recovery diodes is to have a diode here that has a region between the P and N junction. So it's a three junction, three part junction diode. With this region, guys, we have the accumulation of carriers. And this is interesting because uh, we have accumulation of, of carriers in the I pin, né? in the because it's a pin diode, P-I-N. And in the I region, we have accumulation of carriers. So this uh, diode actually is a very bad rectifier because it conducts after the end of the cycle, of the sinusoidal cycle. So we are entering with 324, um, man, it's very hard to, to, to say numbers, to translate the numbers. We are entering with 324 megahertz, and the diode tries to conduct, it conducts a bit, but it continues to conduct because you have charges accumulated in the I region. But when the all the, 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 the carriers are recombined, the diode very quickly as a, a step recovers and shut, shut, shut off the, 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 the current conduction. So we have a, a very fast rise time on the output of the diode. I will show it later here on the scope. This fast edge generated uh, at the um, the, the output of the diode here is rich in harmonics. So actually, the spectrum at the output here of the diode has all the harmonics of the input signal. This harmonics goes to um, a bandpass filter, the, here a prototype of an edge coupled microstrip bandpass filter that is centered on the harmonic we want to use as the output of the, 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 the signal synthesizer or generator. And here you have the bandpass filter centered at the harmonic number four of the input signal. So the output of the bandpass filter is an almost perfect sinusoidal. It's a very clean signal that, that is actually the harmonic, the four harmonic of the input. This is very interesting. And using this technique here I'm testing today, we can generate very high tones here at the output using a lower frequency input. The advantage of this is that we can have a, a very uh, um, low phase noise input here, a signal that is much uh, easier to, to be synthesized by a generator, by, a, by an, a VCO, something like that. And after the generation of this lower input, lower frequency input signal, we can multiply the signal to a very high order harmonic using the step recovery diode. I will pause the video here, and you can see here in time domain, I, I, I was not using the scope here, but I plugged it in the, in the signal here, because it, it's very beautiful to see how the, the output is very clean, man. It's a perfect sinusoidal, very incredible. I will pause the video, and I will uh, take off the filter from the circuit, and you and we're gonna see how the output of the step recovery lo uh, diode looks. Look at this, guys. 
Now the bandpass filter is taken out of the circuit. The output of the step recover diode is directly connected to the spectrum analyzer and to the scope. We are entering with the same frequency here, 324 at 16 dB and there is the biasing voltage we're gonna uh, talk about this later. So look at this guys, we can see that they have the harmonics of the input here. Before the filtering, the filter was filtering only the harmonic we wanted here. But now, without the filter, we can see all the harmonics. We have a very strong harmonic content. And this is why this technique is very useful, because it generates very stronger harmonics of the signal and we can easily filter out this, the harmonic we need. And here, at the time domain, we can see the very fast edge. Whoa, I forgot this was touch. yeah. We can see the very fast edge of the, the output signal from the diode. It's, it's very interesting because we can lower, lower the input here and we can see that with a low input signal, uh, uh, power input signal, we, we don't have the stepping recovery in action here. But as the signal power is increased, we start to enter in the region where the pin diode acts as a step recovery diode and we can see let's let's take here a lower input frequency so we can see all the harmonics of the signal being generated there we can see that the uh, rise and fall time of the signal of the, the the pulse is still very very fast we have now here i think the eight or nine harmonics is, is still very strong and it's interesting to see that we need to optimize the input power and the biasing because we can change the biasing here and we can see how the harmonic distribution will change we can see how the harmonic distribution will change so it's important to to assemble a prototype like this to find the best biasing voltage of the diode and the best input power of the diode where we're gonna have the maximum power at the harmonic we need the circuit is this simple guys it's only the diode it's i don't have here the the code of the diode but it's a pin diode and the diodes is ac coupled in the 50 ohm uh, system here and we have a bias in here and the bias is actually a positive side here in the cathode of the diode so we are biasing in, in reverse direction diode okay in, in yeah the diodes reverse uh, bias it and this is our random video of today guys i hope you enjoyed please subscribe to the channel if so if you like it please give a thumbs up and see you in the next video